What's up everyone, welcome to the unboxing of the Rodecaster Pro. Like, I did a video a couple weeks ago, I know it's been a while, about me starting a podcast. So sometime next year I'll be starting a podcast, just, you know, kind of voice my opinion about tech stuff and all that other stuff, but I kind of get to be me, just a little more of me. Like, I get to be me in my uh, YouTube videos, but this where I can kind of let loose a little bit, you know? So when it's all said and done, like sometimes next year it should be up and running. Looking for a co-host. If not, I just have people guest starring all the time and just have different opinions by different people all the time. So once I find that regular co-host, then I can settle down with regular co-host and still have guests here, here and there. But, but right now, this is the Rodecaster Pro. I've looked at this on YouTube videos because one of the things I looked at was, you know, um, what was it, Zoom H6 or something like that. I see people use that, but then I see they use the Shure microphones and then you gotta buy the cloud lifter and all that other stuff. So this is kind of like, get you up and running right from the get-go. Once you get a couple microphones, you up and running. And the SD card, you up and running. So with that, I was kind of like, yeah, hey, I want something up and running. I don't want to keep buying pieces and pieces and pieces when it comes down to it, when I just want to get up and running. That's all I, that's all I was thinking about when I did this. And another thing, the reason why I got this is because I seen a video where a guy was talking about using a laptop or a computer for your podcast, he says it's a good thing. It really happens, but it, it can happen from time to time. The computer can crash on you. So, you can have a show for about an hour and a half, and next thing you know, it crashes on you, and you just lost that whole podcast that you did. So this kind of eliminates that, because you know it's all on the SD card from here, and then if I want little things from the computer, I can kind of do that. Why well, I, well, I actually worried about it crashing on you. So I was kind of like, yeah, I just need something that can kind of get me up and running get things going and I ain't got to worry about that. So I was like, all right, so that looks like a good idea right here. But so let me cut this open and get up and running. Old school scissors. All right, let's see. That's it, okay, cool. All right, all right. What the heck? Is these display cards? What does this letter mean? <laughs> yeah, these basically like, uh, like cards, like to help you set things up. So yeah, okay, well yeah, yeah. So yeah, so there you go. I got my display cards. About this. I pretty much seen enough videos about it to get up and running, but it's always good to know the little the little stuff that some people just don't tell you. Some some thick styrofoam. Ooh. Look at this bad boy. Oh wow. Very light too. And that's a good thing. Because when it comes down to it, you don't want nothing heavy and bulky when you try. I guess say if you want to travel with it. Okay, get you a travel bag and get things up and running. You, can, you ain't got to worry about it being so heavy that it weighs you down. And that it can do. Alright, put this. Put this on the floor out the way. Alright, let's see what's in this box first. So, you know. Oh, just the power cable and uh, more face cards. But I know these control pads can do sound effects, which is good. So you might want to have some sound effects in your show. And this kind of allows you to do that. And like I said, I watch people use the Zoom H6 and they use this. And also with the Zoom H6, it's pretty much just a regular podcast and then once you go into your editing software that you use you can kind of put the effects and sounds and intros and all that other stuff and that's another thing I'm looking for too anybody can help me out there I'm looking for an intro with a jingle so post your comments in the comment section let me know if you into that type of work and you're here in the Philadelphia area let me know give me a call hit me up so we can set something up we can make do some business together so we'll get this out of plastic Ugh. That new smell, fresh smell. Okay, so we have, we got the four parts where you can have all your microphones right here. You can't see it, but I'll, I'll do like a overcast, but you got the four microphone settings right here. You got the USB setting where you can have like your laptop hooked up to it and kind of like if you're playing a YouTube video, you can play it through there or any type of video on there you can play through there. And if you want to have phone calls with this, this is another thing. You know, you might want to take phone calls eventually or a Q&A and you want to take the phone calls. 
you can hook your phone call up, your phone call, your phone up Bluetooth. So when you make a phone call, it's, it's on from Bluetooth, so you can kind of make calls. And you know, like I said, you may not do it in the beginning, but eventually down the line, I might have people call in with their questions instead of just reading them off Twitter or something like that. You can kind of have them call in and kind of voice their opinion, like almost like a like a radio show. What the heck? Right, there we go. All right. Then you got your four studio monitors control, the headphones. I see it's a little sound thing here, but I don't know exactly what that is, but you got the record button right here. So you have, let me show you. You have your S, micro SD card, which I was kind of shocked they went with micro, S, micro SD instead of regular SD, but you know. Got your USB-C port, you know, your power supply, your power button. Oh, you could hook up studio monitors to this too. Like, so if you want like, um, you know, a couple of speakers on the side, you can do that with this, but I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna be doing that. But here's your four headphones and your four microphone outputs right there. And you got your screen. Pretty much I ain't hooked this up yet because my microphone ain't come in yet. So sometime next week I should be having my microphone and we all up and running. But um, what I also seen in this is that with this, if you have like Rode microphones, of course they more suited for this because it's Rode, uh, this by Rode. You can like adjust the microphone to your liking or to the person that's sitting with you. Like if they have a deep voice, a light voice, an in between voice, I guess. You can kind of set the um, settings just for that. You can also adjust like all these other features when it comes to the microphone. So if you got like a Rode microphone, XLR, hook it up. You can customize your liking to the way you want it. But yeah, I'm pretty much excited to get ready sometime next year to do this. So this is that's pretty much it for this unboxing. Thank you for watching. Um, like I said, anybody who can like make intros, anything like that, hit me in the comment section, let me know. Cause I'm definitely looking for some, you know, intros and outros for my shows and, the, and for my videos too. So anybody out there who can do, who do that type of stuff, man, hit me up, man. If you're here in Philly, hit me up and see if we can make some business up. Like you give me a sound where it's uh, intro or outro that I can use, I'll put your name out there and then people start throwing you love that. We can all make this one big happy, family a business together and just make things work but that's that's it i mean that's it this is that's the unboxing ain't much to it but thank you guys for watching hope you like it see you guys in the next video